Hi guys, it's Katie here. So good to see you again. I actually put on makeup for once today, so I figured I would film a video for you guys. I've been wanting to do this one for a while now, and it is my top favorite foundations for oily skin. Um, as you guys can even probably tell, even though I put on makeup 10 minutes ago, <laughs> I have very oily skin. Now, partially, it's because it's really hot in here. I can't run the AC or turn on the fan, otherwise it messes with the audio. Um, but, yeah, especially in the summertime, my skin gets very, very oily. So, I thought that I would talk to you a little bit about my top five favorite foundations, so that way if you're trying to fight that oily skin right now, maybe you can try out some of these and see if they work for you too. I would always recommend going to Sephora or Nordstrom and getting a sample of these first so that way you can actually test it out before you put down the big bucks to purchase them. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first one that I have is something that I've been talking about on my channel a lot recently. This is the Lancome 24-hour makeup. It's the Teint Edel makeup. Um, Teint Edel Ultra 24-hour makeup. And this does have an SPF of 15 and it is medium to full coverage and the thing that I like best about this is that it is extremely long wearing. I mean I haven't tried it out for 24 hours but I'm not going to doubt that it would last that long because even on my oily uh, skin it lasts so long. I can wake up at like 5 a.m. get ready, um, you know, put my face on, work all day, come home 9 o'clock at night and it still looks good. And I don't have to blot with this one. I'm not saying a lot because I'm very oily. I always have to blot. And if you have oily skin, you understand where I'm coming from. So this is awesome. Another thing that I really like about this foundation is that it doesn't accentuate pores. And usually if you have oily skin, you have enlarged pores. So I find that a lot of medium to full coverage foundations uh, tend to emphasize pores because a lot of them have more of like a thicker, creamier consistency, which I find on me personally emphasizes my enlarged pores right in here. This one, however, does not. And for that reason alone, I like it. There is a really large color selection in this one too. Even though this does have a large color selection, I do think that it is kind of hard to find your color just because there are so many to choose from, but they do have warm, neutral, and cool undertones, so you should be able to find a perfect match for you. Oh boy. I turned on the fan because I have to have something going on in here, otherwise I'm just going to die. I feel like I'm in a dungeon right now. The next one that I have here is by Marc Jacobs, and this is the Remarkable Foundation. Now, I did a video on this a while ago, and at first I was kind of like, eh, about it, and then I ended up really loving it. And I love this because of its longevity. Again, this is another one that will last forever um, on your skin, especially if you have oily skin. This one, however, if you have even the smallest dry patch on your skin, don't use this because it will emphasize that flakiness. And yeah, it is full coverage, extremely full coverage. Marc Jacobs recommends using this with a brush. Um, which I use sometimes, but if I want more of like a seamless, not so heavy finish, I will use this with a beauty blender. And I think that that gives it a more, I don't know, kind of natural look. But if you want like, like this would be great if you're taking pictures because if you want that very full coverage, flawless looking face, then this will give it to you. You just kind of have to go like very light handed with it. I'm not even kidding you when I say a dot you will take this off and a dot of this will cover your entire face and it will look perfect. It's very easy to go overboard with this and that's when it really starts to look cakey, too heavy and just unnatural and unflattering. But again, a little goes a long way and if you do want to try this out, they have a lot of colors for this one too. Again, Marc Jacobs I think runs very warm, more like yellowy, so if you do have a pink undertone, you might have a harder time finding one, but get a sample, give it a try. And now, this one will come to no surprise to you because this one's talked about a lot on YouTube. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. This is really, really great. Again, if you have oily skin, obviously that's what this whole video is about, but this one, I do love this one. But this one can also get cakey very, very easily. So again, a little goes a long way. I do prefer for sure to use a beauty blender when applying this one. I am in the color 3W1. This is like more my more summer shade. Um, 
So you just have to be careful with this one. As with any like very full coverage foundation, you have to be careful and it's way better to start with a very small amount, blend it out and see how it looks and then build on top of that because once it's on your face, it's really hard to minimize that and get it off your face, if that makes sense. Work small, work your way up. But anyways, this is really good. It lasts a very long time on the skin. It does give your skin a very flawless finish. Um, I do notice with this one though that it can emphasize my pores, especially right in here. So if you do have enlarged pores, just be careful with this one. Um, and then again, if you have dry skin, this will emphasize any dry patches that you have on your skin. So be careful. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying be careful a lot. But if you have really oily skin, this is going to be amazing for you because it's going to give you the coverage that you want and it's going to last a really long time. Again, I can wake up, get my makeup done 5 o'clock in the morning, come home 9 o'clock at night, and it will still look good. However, with this one, I do have to blot. With the Lancome one, I don't. So if you're extremely oily, Lancome. If you're just oily, this one. And oh, this is one of my favorites, and it has been for a long time, and I don't feel like enough people talk about this one. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. Now, I would say if you have uh, combination to oily skin, to extremely oily skin, then this is a great one. It really does give you a flawless finish. It doesn't emphasize pores. It lasts a really long time on the skin. And it does have a pump, so that's always helpful. And I always use this one with the Beauty Blender as well because I just like the way that it kind of, I don't know, like takes away any of that excess makeup so that I never look cakey. Um, this one is hydrating, so it's not super, super matte. It's going to give your skin a very natural finish, whereas the Marc Jacobs Remarkable and the Estee Lauder are extremely matte. Um, this one has more of a natural satin finish, so if you like a little bit more of a glow on your face, even if you are oily, then I would go to with this one compared to in any of the other ones that I've talked about. However, this isn't dewy. Like I said, it's just more of a natural type finish, so... 100% recommend this one. This is what I'm wearing right now. Um, right, this one isn't the one I'm, I mean, I'm wearing the Smashbox one, but this color is 2.1. I think the one that's on my face right now is 2.3, so it's a little bit darker, but really, really love this one. And now, if you're going for more a, a natural finish on your face, you don't want medium to full coverage, I would 100% recommend the Nude Air by Dior. This is a serum foundation, but it is the only serum foundation that actually gives me coverage and stays on my skin. Now, this isn't going to stay on my skin as long as the Lancome one or as long as the Smashbox one. However, this one for a light coverage foundation, light to medium coverage, um, more of a serum foundation, this one does a great job of staying on my skin and not sliding right off. So I'm in the color 20. And this one is a little light for me right now, but I can just bronze it up and it works in the summertime too. So again, this is a serum foundation. It's very, very watery. And I kind of like that because for me, watery foundations are the ones that don't emphasize pores. The creamier you get, for me personally, the more of a chance it has that it's going to emphasize your pores. But with these more serum-like watery foundations, it just really goes on the skin very, very evenly and gives you that flawless complexion. So if you want very, very light, natural look to your skin, but you still want to even out your skin tone, then I would go with the Dior Nude Air. And that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you do have any questions, then just let me know down below. I'm pretty good about replying to everybody. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.